Guys, welcome. Uh, you've heard it here before. You probably won't be the last time, but uh, it's fourth and ten, bottom of the ninth. Going with the beanie this morning. Going with the beanie this morning. She's a little colder, guys. Uh, like things, we've kept, we've been waiting for something to happen, something to change. Uh, and weather is usually what changes to make the deer hunting better. And it changed last night. It got super cold. You know what I said on the truck? Ten degrees. Ten degrees. Ten degrees. I'm into it. Yeah. For whatever reason, something like that happens over here and things get really, really fun. Usually. Historically. Let's not jinx ourselves. Yeah. But let's, uh, let's go find you a deer. Four huh? ten. I've shot four. I've shot, no. I thought, yeah, I think I've shot four deer over here. And three of those four have come on the last day. So I'm feeling very optimistic. Let's go make it four for five. High fives. Oh, Same on page. It's day five out here. It's the last day. So uh, last night we glassed this country from just from the road from the truck and we actually saw a good number of does and not a lot of hunting pressure. This morning I was really surprised to not see any trucks right there where we parked. So right now, to my knowledge, we're the first people going in this way where there's at least 10 to, 10 to 15 does that we spotted last night. So I know there's a lot of deer with the rut. We're banking on that some buck showed up through the night so we're just waiting on first light we got about 20 more minutes we'll probably start being able to see we'll be in a good spot there's one really nice canyon over here i like that's uh, got a lot of brush and pine trees on the north slope so um, if nothing's there we'll just carry on and look for a big buck but let's go like casey said this morning it's what do you say fourth and ten yep fourth and ten <laughs> fourth and ten guys let's go Deer today, two decent little four points, and then just a ton of does. A lot of does with no bucks again. We're using the onyx to skirt some private, and uh, just on our side, there's a doe up here, but nothing else since. So, anyways, we're gonna skirt this private around this canyon and just hug the line and hunt to the public side and just see what we can find. Hopefully, B Mac and Casey had some better luck. Could have shot the small bucks, I guess, but one was right on the skyline, and I didn't. 
I wouldn't have shot at the skyline over the top of that. And the other one was just way down on public. Just small four point though. So anyways, we're still going. It's cold, deer moving. There's still plenty more to see. We just gotta find the right one. The wait is finally over. We've been waiting on this big G2 buck to come onto our property. He's been just on the neighbors, like 100 to 40 yards off of the property boundary. And nothing could get him over here. And we've been out glassing now for probably 30 minutes. And Casey said, there he is. He's like 684, if we could get to those. We can easily get down to that. If we could get to that, it would be 300. Yeah, if we could get down there, I'd take a 400 yard shot. Don't we? guys this is a a little frustrating we're just walking the boundary here on the public side and there's some let's just say there's some hunters hunting where it's closed and that's the frustrating part we're just hunting these small little pieces and everywhere we look that's supposed to be closed you see orange so a little frustrating but we're gonna push through this last patch of timber and just kind of still hunt we don't really have any other options well there goes some deer below us two does What's that? Here comes a bunch of deer. We need a buck because you know they're going to run to that saddle. We've got some does right below us, but no buck. Figured that guy would bump up some deer. We think he shot. Somebody shot right by us. I think it's this guy in the closed area. Anyways, that's what we're dealing with. So we're going to sit here. We're going to cruise through the timber and see if we can't just kind of still hunt and maybe get lucky. It's happened before, but it doesn't happen often. But it's worth a try. So here we go.
Well, update, it's 11.30 a.m. And uh, we got a text from Casey earlier that he was on the big G2 buck, but somehow he slipped away into these um, trees up here. So we asked them what their plan was, and they're like, man, we'd love to hunt this buck, but we have no food. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, why don't you guys stay up there? Matt and I will, will go do a food run. So we went at, actually down to town and got some breakfast burritos for these guys and ourselves. So bacon breakfast burritos with sour cream and hot sauce. I'm sure these guys are going to be happy to see us show up, but we're just, we're right behind them. They're on this glassing knob up here and it doesn't sound like they've seen the buck since this morning, but most likely just going to hold tight up here and, and wait for them to come back out tonight. So that's our update. We saw a couple smaller bucks on the BLM over there, but nothing we wanted to pursue. Kind of hunted all the land we could, did a big square around all the borders and yeah, no big bucks. So we're just gonna come join these guys and hang out and just have a good time. There's a small chance that we can kill two bucks up here um, because there is two decent four points that they said they saw. So we'll see, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bank on it, but we're just gonna have fun. You can bank on that. So look, they're gonna be so happy. <laughs> Sweet, bro. DoorDash. Yeah. What up? Yes. Yeah. We, we brought the goods. Super eats. Dude, this place is cool. All right? That was like pretty sick. Hey, we guys got you some bacon breakfast burritos with sour cream and hot sauce for you guys. Oh, nice. Bro. Look at that. Bam. Nice Thanks, Thanks, you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. You guys, you know, it's so hard. It's probably worn out. Yeah. All the glassing you've done and all the bucks you saw. My eyes are strained. <laughs> Gotta get them some food and carve hey, back up. It, no, <laughs> I need smarter, not harder. Yeah. Ain't right. that the truth? Is that true? Bro, the more I drive, the more deer I see. Yep. Not a kid. Well, it's last light and we just glassed a buck in the canyon, so we've got 30 minutes of legal shooting light. We're going to drive over there and see if we can't get a better look. We didn't see him very long before he went into the canyon, so not sure what to expect and not even sure if this road goes over there. <laughs> We're going to try it out. Almost to the top. Almost to the top of the Quakies. That's his butt? That No, that's him right there, broadside. That's a smaller buck down. I see a butt and his head's to the right. Yep, he just took like half a step. His head's to the left. He's walking, his butt's straight to us now. There's a doe walking right behind his butt. He's the highest one. His butt's directly to us. I see a butt, I see a doe moving to the right, what's that? Doe moving to the right and then the buck's right behind her. Walking to the right. He's the left deer. The doe's the right deer. He's walking. He's facing us now. Yeah, I 
They're coming straight down. I see a doe running up. Go to the right. They're walking right back into the big group of deer now. Pretty short hunt. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with these conditions. Well, guys, that's how she's gonna be wrapped up. I mean, what can you do? Yeah, we uh it's been fun. It's a, like Casey was saying a second ago, it's a five day hunt. So you have a really small window. We didn't have any days to come scout ahead of time. I'd say the weather was just a five out of ten. Like you, you really desire cold temperatures and snow. And this morning was the first morning, you know, below 25 degrees. We saw all the deer on this property. Multiple are, times. Multiple times. We got lucky uh, with my buck on another sure. little tiny, tiny piece, like 160 acres. Yeah. And we were just hoping and praying those two more mature deer would be on here. And sure enough, this morning we had a crack at them, but it was just like such a small little window by the time that thing took off it's i was saying this earlier today it's tough when you always want to hunt deer when they're up because they're out and about with the does chasing does around they usually come into some lower country they'll spend a lot more time out in the sage so you can find them easier trouble is though they're always moving man they're always chasing the bucks off or chasing does or just stomping looking for does and that's what happened this morning is i think he had had enough with those does and he just to me it was, seemed like he was just marching out out of the country to go try to find a hot dough somewhere else but you know we had a, a lot of fun um you know we i think feel like me and brian covered as much of this property as we could but I, like you said we saw all the deer that was on it we were just hoping for you know some bigger bucks to roll in which they did and eric worked his tail off like he always does in the on the uh public land and it was just a tough season it was a tough year and i don't know it's another fun late season rifle hunt these late season hunts are a blast even though the days are a little bit shorter temps are a little bit different sitting back and just watching deer through the binoculars or the spotting scope is super enjoyable regardless if you kill one or not and uh we've always enjoyed it it's fun to be back together as a group where it was kind of divide and conquer and it's nice to swing back all grouped up as one have dinner every night together wake up in the morning wish each other luck you know share stories but you know, one for three on, on nice deer is not bad. That's 33%. Yeah, we're, we're an all-star in the Major League we're Baseball. Ba we're batting right? 330, we're going to the all-star game.